What's up everybody? Due to high command, I'm going to do a tutorial for more trees. A lot of people have been requesting this one and it's actually pretty cool what it does. Um, it adds a whole bunch of different plants and trees and it, uh, it even adds like a, the sequoia trees, the giant trees. So let me go ahead and show you this. Um, I would suggest that you just completely create a new world. Don't go into your already created worlds. See, I just created a new world. Um, if you go into any of your other worlds and it actually adds the trees, you'll pretty much be screwed if you take the mod out because all the trees will be like still there in the game. So here's my spawn. I uh, see you have the cherry the cherry blossom tree I think that's what it's called it's kinda weird when you destroy the leaves it gives you gray stuff but then here's the sapling for that tree and then you got your palm tree sometimes they'll have bananas on them there's some more palm trees over there let me go try to find some other trees. Why is it not? Hold on. Uh, there we go. I was wondering why my guy was walking so smoothly. Alright, so let me try to find. I want us to find a uh, sequoia for you guys, but I don't think I will because they're supposed to be really rare. Some more pine trees. Um, here's the vines. There'll be random vines like this everywhere. I think you can climb them. Yep, they're just like ladders. That's really cool. So you got your vines. Um, you can plant vines in certain places if you want. I mean, this, this mod just makes the worlds look cool. Like, look over there, you can see the pink trees. There's a palm tree again. It just looks cool to me. And then over here, we have your apple tree. Wait, is that a sequoia over there? If you um, left-click on one of the blocks that has an apple on it, I'm going to right click it, it'll give you an apple, and then you can just eat the apple. So that's how you get the apples, and if you, uh, it'll give you saplings so you can replant that tree too. I think that, no, sequoias are way bigger than those, those are just big normal trees. Uh, you can make a banana cake now and some other stuff I'm not sure everything you can do with this mod but I'm gonna pause the video because I want to show you guys a sequoia tree if I could find one so I'm gonna pause it and I'll be back if I find a sequoia tree alright that's not a sequoia tree but that's just an extremely tall tree I didn't even know it added those that's above the clouds. I'm going to go ahead and pause it again until I get over there. Alright, so now I'm at that tall tree. I don't know what kind of tree this is supposed to be, but it's huge. And I looked in the background, and there's a sequoia tree. These trees are huge. They're really, like, they're rare to find, though. This will probably be, like, the only one I'll see, because I'm not going to really be on this world that much. Look how big that is. I wish they didn't make them completely square, though. Like, it would, be, it would look cooler if they made it, uh, more realistic. But these things are, I think, I'm pretty sure they're completely solid. So if I give myself an axe... Here's all the saplings and stuff like that, by the way. Wait, I should give myself a diamond axe. It'll work better. 
There we go. Oh no, they're not solid. Never mind. Yeah, they're hollow. So you can you can make a tree house with this. That would be awesome to do. I actually think I want to do that now. That's kind of cool. It's completely hollow all the way up to the top. That would be awesome to make a tree house with this though. So that's it for showing you the mod. That's pretty much everything it adds um, that I know of. So now I will show you how to install the mod. Alright. Um, I need to clean out my Minecraft jar. So I will be back once I have that done. Alright, I cleaned out my Minecraft jar and I'll show you how to install this now. So you're going to need Mod Loader version 5. You're going to need more block IDs. Tool ut Utilis. I think it's supposed to be Utilities, but I'm not sure. Tool Utilis. GUI API. And the mod itself, the more trees. So let me go ahead and show you how to get these. To get the, um, the more trees, you're going to come to this page. I'll give you a link to it. And you're just going to scroll down. See, here's all the stuff. Here's the banana cake. Here's the sequoia tree. All these kind of trees. Oh, it's a eucalyptus tree. Here's the vines. Uh, you can make fertilizer for something, too. You're just going to scroll down past all that, and then you're going to click on download. And then save it to your desktop. And then for the tool utilis, you're going to come here and you're going to click on download again. And then again, save it to your desktop. Now to get the uh, UPI or no API GUI API, you're going to come here and then you're going to scroll down. And then you're going to click on um, you're going to click on this, and then it'll just bring you down here. And then you're going to click on the main download, and it should bring down another box. Yeah, there you go. And then save that to your desktop as well. You're going to end up saving all these to your desktop. Now for the mod loader, you're going to come to this page. Um, all these links will be in the description. And you're going to go to where it says the mods and it's going to say mod loader. Download V5. And then hit save. Don't do uh, with grass fix because I'm not sure if that will work. And now to get the block IDs, you're going to come to this page and just click download again. And save it to your desktop. So that's how you get all the mods. There's a lot of stuff that you need to install, so pay really close attention to this. So now we're going to go, and if you're on Windows 7, you can click on start and just automatically type in percent app data percent. That's if you're on Windows 7, but if you're on XP or Vista, you're going to want to type in run and then open up run. And then here you will type in percent app data percent and hit OK and now we're gonna open up Minecraft we're gonna open up the bin and now we're going to come down here to your Minecraft jar you're gonna need WinRAR for this and you're gonna um, right click it and do open with WinRAR okay so now you can close this you don't need that open anymore so now we we'll do this and now open up mod loader we'll install that first and what you're going to do is you're going to copy all these classes from the mod loader and drag them over and hit OK. Now you're done installing mod loader. Now for more block IDs, um, the source folder, you're not going to mess with that. Just open up jar, copy these two classes, drag them over, hit OK. And now you're done with the more block IDs. And same thing with the tool utilities, you're just going to open up the jar copy these classes and drag them over and again you're not going to mess with the source folder and now we're going to open up GUI API and just copy everything click on the first one hold shift scroll all the way down and then click on the last one and then just drag them over this one might take a little bit to uh, completely drag to complete so 
I think this one's going to take maybe a minute. Um, I'm going to pause it and I will be back once it's done transferring. Okay, so now all my GUI API files are over here. So now you can close that. And now we're going to open up the more trees. And again, click on the first one, hold shift, scroll all the way down, and then click on the last one. And then you're going to drag all of these over for the more, for the more trees. And hit OK. This one goes a bit faster. Actually, a lot faster. Alright, so now you're done installing all of them. But before you close this, you're going to want to scroll down. And if you see a folder called meta inf, you're going to you're going to want to click on it, then right click it and delete files and hit yes. So now you deleted your meta inf. If you have meta inf in there, it will um stop the mods from working. So make sure you always delete meta inf from your uh Minecraft jar if you're going to install a mod. So that is it. It's a lot of steps to install it, but it's not hard. You just got to follow along. And that's it. Like I said, a lot of people were requesting this, so I hope this helped you, and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.